you have done such a wonderful job with all of the coding that we have done. And we're now going to move on. We're still going to be doing coding, but this time we're going to apply it to robots. Do a little bit of robotics here, okay? So we can't be here in person, and I can't show you the robots I have here, but we're going to do the best we can trying this virtually. So we are going to be using our BeeBot robots. I have a couple different ways that we can be coding these virtually, uh, so I'm excited to do that. You'll be learning a website and learning an app and different things like that over the next couple of classes, all to do with this guy, BeeBot. Okay, all right, let's go get started. Hi friends, Mrs. Gerber here, and I have a friend to show you today. This is Beebot. Can you say hi, Beebot? Let me show you his back, the bottom. So Beebot is a robot, and I have a whole bunch of these at school, so I'm very sad that we will not be able to actually play with them, but we're gonna do the best job that we can today doing an activity where um, you still get to get the feel of what a BeeBot bot is like. So um, you can see BeeBot has a bunch of buttons on the back. This is actually how we program him. Um, and you can see the power button underneath here. Notice the wheels. And let me show you another robot I have here. This one is called BlueBot because, when I switch it on here, see how it lights up blue? Um, the thing I like about the blue bot here, you can actually see what's inside it. Um, so notice there are the LED lights here. Right inside here, you can actually see a circuit board. Um, underneath here, you can see the wheels. The motor is in here too. You can see the battery where it charges. So even though this looks like a toy, it is not. It's a robot, robot that we can actually um, program it. So um, we're gonna practice that today. So you can see right here I have a grid. So we have to decide where do we want the start point? Where do we want the ending point? So um, I decided I'm gonna use these stop and go cards. So we'll start very simple. We're just gonna put the go card right here and we'll put the stop card right there. Okay, so here's my BeeBot. Now let's make sure our BeeBot has to be turned on. So we'll flip it over. There we go, we heard that sound so we know that it's on. And we're gonna start at the go right here. So let's place, place the BeeBot here. Now let's count and see how far we need to go. We need to go one, Two, if we wanna go all the way up to the stop, we need to go three. So we're gonna program that. We're gonna press in each time. I'm gonna lift it up here so you can really see what I'm doing. We're gonna press in each time three forwards that we want it to go. So you can see this one's the forward. That's backwards. We won't be using any backwards. We have turn left and turn right. We won't be using any of those either this time. And then you can see the go button in the center when we're ready. So count with me, three, one, two, three. Okay, so now all of that code is stored inside our robot. And remember, our robot has a different language. We can't just say, go BeeBot. He won't go. We actually have to press the go button. That's how this robot has been programmed. When we press go, he'll start moving. So let's go ahead and see if it works. Good job, it moved, it even moved our stop sign. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit trickier this time. So now it's gonna go forward, but notice we're going to have to make a turn this time. Before we can do anything, I want you to notice this X button right here. This X button is very important. That code is still stored inside of our BeeBot, so we need to make sure that we clear it out, and this is the clear button right here. And one thing I always say in kindergarten, whenever we're doing that X out, we make this symbol with our hands. We make an X and we say, X out the memory. Can you do that with me? Ready? X out the memory. Good job. So keep telling yourself that as a reminder um, later when you're doing the activity. So we're gonna X out the memory. Good, and it's clear. We can even click it again just to make sure it's all cleared out. Now let's take a look at our final one we're gonna do here. For our forwards, how many forwards do we need to put in? Two, did you say two? 
Good job. So let's put those two forwards in. One, two. Okay, now when our Bebot gets to this point, our Bebot needs to turn to the, did you say left? Yes, turn to the left. Now, here's where it gets really tricky. Some people think to go over one more, it has to do another turn. Hmm, let's see what would happen if we try that. Another turn, watch. Forward, forward, turn left, turn left. No, that's not what we wanted. Uh-oh, we need to do some debugging. Remember that we're debugging where we have to fix our code. So we are going to, remember, X out the memory. X out the memory here. Let's try that again. Forward, forward, turn left. Remember, it's gonna turn its body right here, but we still need it to go forward. Okay, so it's all stored in there. We did forward, forward, turn left, and one more forward. Are we ready to go, go? All right, let's try it. Go. Forward, forward, turn left, and forward, yay! Good job, I'm so proud of you. Here I am in Seesaw, so I'm going to click the green Add Response button. And you'll notice here, you can see a screenshot. It's called the Bbot Emulator. And we actually need to click this little link button right down here to have it open up. And you can see I have a purple arrow pointing right to it. Let's click that. All right, here we go. So CRB bot is hiding right here on the alphabet mat, but you'll notice right here in the drop down there are all kinds of fun mats to use. This is just the plain blank card mat, the community mat. Bebot can go along the road here. Country road. Oh, you can practice different CBC words here. Dice mat. Go card is a fun one, number line, Old West, all kinds of different fun ones to explore here. School, shapes and colors, coins. All right. So any one of those you can do. Okay, so let's say with my Bbot here, I wanted to try to code it to go to the gym. So what I would need to do is put in the code so that it would move and notice there's these squares here. See all those lines? So I see one, two, three, and to get into the gym, I need to put four. So I'm gonna enter them in. One, two, three, four, and then I'm going to hit go. I made it to the gym. Now, anytime you want to try out, then you hit that X right there. That is to clear it out. Or one way I like to say is X out the memory. So we exit out and clear it out. And your Bbot, you can just tap it and drag it back to wherever you want it to start here. Now, say maybe you wanted to get to this water fountain here. So you'd have to go one, two, three forwards. Let's put those in. One, two, three forwards, then we have to do a turn that way, right turn, then one, two, three more forwards, one, two, three more forwards, and you can see all of the code down there, all right, let's go ahead and try it. All right, and don't feel bad if your code is not right. That is no problem. That happens a lot. That's actually called, uh, that means there's a bug in your code. You have to debug it. You can always clear out here and try again. When you're done exploring, you will head back to Seesaw here on the second page. And I want you to tell me how it went. Was it easy? Was it hard? Were you able to 
figure out how to move it? Did it go where you wanted it to go? Um, what mat did you use? So you can either just record your voice over the screen or you can click here and do a video recording and put that video right in here as well, okay? Either way is fine, but I wanna hear, hear your thoughts and hear how it went. And then when you're done, of course, hit the green check. All right, have fun playing with the Bee Bot.